what was one of your first big checks as a producer? Uh, actually, this uh, uh, uh-oh. Red Ludacris's Red Light District album. That was like my first. You know, I went from, you know, I went from selling beats for like two and three hundred dollars to selling a beat for five thousand dollars. Like, wow. So that was my first. You know, that was my first joint. See, so rocking with the Bluebird. Is that, do you record stuff on there that ends up on final mixes or is that just for scratch stuff? Actually, uh, both. Uh, like the records that I got on Algebra's album that's about to come out, we recorded over here. Uh, records that I didn't produce, we recorded over here. <laughs> so you you'd endorse that oh, model? Oh yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a damn good mic. I've had that microphone since 2006. And yes. it's only like two... Fifty or something like that, three hundred dollars or something like that. Yeah, I, only, I think it's yeah, I, I think it's like under three hundred dollars. Yeah, I can't even remember what I paid for it because it was that, it's been that long. Oh, you've been using that microphone, that not particular this. one that you see right there. I've had since two thousand six. You see, you have the it comes with the P popper, but you have another one on there. Yeah, I bought another one. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know this joint right here, whatever they call this, the shield. I don't know what they call it, but bought that or whatever because I don't. You know, obviously, you see, I don't have a mic room or nothing like that but it works you know and, I, and you know especially with algebra's uh project after we did the records and uh i went through to the mix and all that stuff and i asked the engineer i'm like hey man are the vocals cool like do they sound cool he like man he told me everything was good and i was like wow because i don't fancy myself an engineer you know i cut records and cut vocals by default <laughs> See what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm not going to pay nobody to do something that I can do myself, even though I don't like it, but I'm going to do it. I would get a computer and some type of some type of program. I would get a computer and I would get Logic, uh, get some speakers or something like that. Man, what would, what would I invest that in? Uh, new sounds. <laughs> new sounds to add to the library of sounds I already got. You know what I'm saying? Would you recommend they invest anything in networking and or traveling or anything or five thousand dollars? I mean, how I'm, how far will five thousand dollars take you? You know what I'm saying? That that might that might be one trip. You know what I'm saying? But if it's if it's something going on somewhere, and uh, you know five thousand dollars to cover the bill, I would definitely do it. If it's something like if I'm here in Atlanta and I got five thousand dollars just to throw up in the air, and there's some type of convention going on in L. A. or something like that, hell yeah, I'm gonna go book me a room. I'm going to that convention. You know what I'm saying? Rent the little economy car when I get there. I'm in the streets. <laughs> What's up? I'm here. Newer producers. Uh, hmm. Whoever, and I don't know who did them, but whoever did like the hard stuff on Drake's album. Forty. Yeah, that 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 shit's nice. They they, they laced they laced that boy's album. They laced it. They did that. Uh, overall. I would have to give it to Quincy Jones because of Thriller. The album, not just the record, like the whole album, like that Thriller album, like I've heard nothing before or after it. Not even from Michael himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I would have to get an overall to Quincy Jones. But it's a it's a lot of cats out there, especially the cats that got me into production, like the cats I was listening to when I transitioned from DJing into making beats with DJ Premier and DJ Quick. Like them two cats right there, like they. The niggas had me gone as far as production go. Who else? Battle Cat, you know. Fuck with him real heavy. And uh Knife Wonder and Knots. And a cat named Megahertz out of New York. Them niggas make monster beats. <laughs> monster um. beats. Focus. And DJ Khalil. Like it's a it's a cat that I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Focus and DJ Khalil, them niggas, they make monster beats, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's a couple cats I fuck with. As far as, like, the, the new stuff, well, I, I guess I said Drake's album. But all the other stuff, it's almost kind of like cats is taking turns making the same beats. You know what I'm saying? Favorite artist to work with? Algebra. Because she, she got an open mind. She's not closed-minded to nothing. She'll listen to anything and, you know, she'll, she'll give it a try. You know, she'll let you know if she ain't fucking with it. But, you know, she, her, her ears are open, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, play it for me. Let me hear it. Check it out. And she, she'll vibe with it, you know what I'm saying? And she'll take time to let you know whether she messing with it or not. 
uh, it's cool, but it ain't for me, or I don't like that at all, or, oh, man, that's dope, I'm about to kill that, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, it ain't like no set, you know, I don't do stuff like that, you know, she, she got an open mind, and she willing to try stuff, you know what I'm saying, she not closed-minded, so, yeah, I always have to say algebra, 